Okay, so I've already gotten started with things, but this is basically what the RV looks like. You can see that the obvious signs of uh, this having been to Burning Man a couple of times. Um, I've got a few things done already that were really important to me. I temporarily anchored down the table on two sides, which was totally not anchored, and I cut off these two corners. Um, because it was just feeling like I was going to like wreck my legs walking past this. So I've kind of made it a little more safe. And then ultimately what I'm going to do with this <clears throat> is I'm going to take it off and put it on some cinder blocks over a tarp. And I'm going to do this uh, pour on stuff. And I'm going to do some images and quotes and stuff like that um, under the pour on stuff. So that's the plan for that. And, um, uh oh, I'm getting stuck too by this contact paper that I pulled off the wall. Um, so it's it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. I had a um, I had a, all the locks keyed, and then I had um, a coach guy come out and do an inspection and do some repairs. He looked at my um, I think he called it an LP, so I think that's liquid propane system. He um, fixed that so that the lights work and stuff now. And now I need to get new light fixtures. They're all missing for some weird reason. Um, I think I'm going to keep the disco <laughs> chandelier just because it's fun. And uh, I've been to Burning Man myself five times, so I think it would be... That's kind of just how I think as well. Putting a chandelier, disco chandelier in the micro kitchen. And then I've already started pulling off... There's this really ugly wallpaper on this. So like this. I just don't care for this. So I've ripped this off. And then I've ripped off this kind of this wallpaper, which was in panels. And you can see there's these... These, um, I don't like this color either, this peach kind of color. I'm not really into peach. It reminds me of the 80s. It reminds me of like when I was in high school and I was into Whitney Houston and <laughs> just, I don't know, <laughs> just reminds me of that. Kind of a, not a fond memory. So this is peach that I'm replacing. And I don't, I don't really like care for the lavender as well. I like it. I like lavender, but not next to peach. Just too 80s for me. So then, and then there's all this Mitch match crazy different wallpapers that don't go together. So I'm trying to pull this off. Um, and... What I, th I was thinking maybe I could put a mirror on this or uh, something else, but I pulled off all of that and you can see there's something under here, but I'll just kind of sand it down and paint over it. Um, probably need to do like some finish, you know, speckling or wood filler and then remount this because it's crooked. Um, and then I just finally drilled the holes for this, but now I need new hardware because the, the nuts that I bought don't quite fit and I was thinking, I was guessing. And then obviously I need to like sand this down. I want to get new contact paper for that. Um, it's fun. This van, this RV is fun because like whoever had this and went to Burning Man kind of like slapped everything on there. So you can see I'm starting to replace some of the peach. I'm trying out this this light pink. I think it looks terrible next to like in the you know with all this lavender. So um, I don't really want to keep the lavender. It's everywhere. Um, so and I don't. This isn't quite the color. This was here. It's like a. I would call this a peacock green, maybe, or something like that. But um, I think I'm probably just going to redo all the colors, and I might even redo the handles. But for now, I just want to be able to close them and open them. Um, and then <laughs> you can see all the fun, weird, crazy things they did. None of it matches, and it's just like stapled on. And But there's a lot to be salvaged. I'm probably going to remove this cabinet um, because it kind of feels like it's in my way, and I'm going to knock my head on it. I don't, I don't think this comes with the RV either. Although it could, but it just doesn't match, so I'm pretty sure this didn't come with it. I was I managed to get this window open for air, so that's great. Um, and then this is going to be a project because they've glued this, like I think they were gluing flowers on or something. So to pull, starting to pull those off, I'm starting to... <laughs> I probably need to do something different. I'm not super proper uh, myself, but I mean, you know, just some of this, like this trim that's not even... I don't know if you can see that, but it's like the trim is not matching. It's not a, a, against the actual corner. <laughs> it's just like, and it's all, it's just, it's just, yeah. So just c c cacophony and there's this weird other wallpaper here. So it's just a big kind of crazy mess. I have to open this thing up and I can't do it myself. So I'm going to get some help. I know some handyman in town and I think I'm going to have them help me get this open because this is where the freshwater tank valve is. We need to check that. And, um, I like the white, uh, so, and then the fridge, I just pulled off some ugly, more, this this was the wallpaper on the fridge, so it's just like nine million different types of wallpaper. 
then I think I'm just going to just have this be white. And uh, I try, I'm trying the pink and just seeing how I'm kind of like, you know, mood check. Like, how does it feel to have this area be pink? And I'm not totally convinced. Um, but I also think once I get the lavender and the peach and all the wallpapers kind of out, I can simplify this down into like two colors or th probably three. I, I got this gold, this, um, metallic gold and I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I was thinking maybe gold, very pale pink and white could be a good mm, kind of boho theme. But right now it's just a total mess. There's so many colors and so many wallpapers. So some of the things that I do like that came with it, in, in addition to this <laughs> disco chandelier, these are nice. Um, these little handles, those are pretty cool. And then little things like, you know, they have this little rack up here. I mean, I can get stuff like that, of course. And I do really like this. I think this is nice. Um, like, you know, just to kind of seal off what I guess they're, you know, the intent for this. I'm actually not sure. Um, it came with this mattress, but that doesn't mean that it was original to the RV. Um, this whole thing though, I'm not, I really don't understand what this was supposed to be, but I do notice that there are these like kind of whole, uh, outlet thing. So I'm, I'm not going to touch that. Obviously it's electrical. Have the guys do that. But, um, yeah. And then, so, and then there's all this other stuff. Like there's a crazy tile here. And then this is actually really awful. I was, I went to a tile store the other day, but this bathroom is just like whoever, I don't know what, I mean, that's just awful. Like what were they thinking? I don't even know if they were thinking. <laughs> They probably just bought it for Burning Man and they had all this extra money or something. And because it, it was basically, we got it at auction or actually the seller got it at auction. I paid full price, uh, which was fine. Um, but this is just gross. Like I went to a tile store and then I told her I'd come back and measure because I forgot to take measurements. And then I realized I came back in here and to measure it. I'm like, oh God, this is, this might need a lot more work than I thought. So because they're tiling over other tile and the grout is gross. And so this is a big job. So what I might do for now, instead of getting new tile and redo this is maybe just put these panels. These look like vinyl. They're <laughs> using vinyl. I don't know. I want to do tile. Um, but just for now, like, cause I'm buying land too. I'm buying five acres. So that's the main expense right now that I want to, you know, kind of just focus on. But anyway, so that's uh, something that I'll be working on. Um, and that's the main thing. So at least I finally got, got started. I'm going to actually, this other thing too, I'm going to pull this out, this microwave. I don't use microwaves and I'm going to pull that out and put like a toaster oven probably in there. I probably won't ever really do any baking. Um, but I mean, I guess you never know, but the stovetop, I got that working. Um, when the coach, uh, inspector repair man came. So all the burners are working now and, um, the pumps work for the water and the two sinks. But I think, um, I think I'll probably use a toaster oven. I use a hot plate and a toaster oven in my old place to be, believe it or not. I'm also boiling water in my place to wash my face. So it's like pretty low. Um, let's see, why is that lit up? I don't really know. I don't really understand a lot of this stuff. No, I didn't do anything. Oh, there we go. So my water pump was on. Yeah. Cause there's that. And then. There's another, he called it a dual pump. I'm like, oh yes, of course, dual pump. Cause there's two of them, <laughs> but yeah, so it's a pretty, it's in pretty good shape for the most part. It's really funky, but I'm going to redo obviously the interiors. The peach is just really bugging me, especially next to this like lavender. It's actually causing me some, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to, it's like, you know, colors make you happy or sad. Um, they have an effect on you, um, your surroundings. So um, and I'm going to change out these, uh, window screen things. Cause I have a, a one that I like better that I got from a client. He was actually the guy who co-wrote hot tub time machine. <laughs> and, uh, I was at his house and, and, and I was like, Oh my God, where did you get this window stuff? It's so cool. And he, he told me like, Oh yeah, I just, I don't know. I got it online. So I like went and looked and I found it. So this stuff I don't care for as much, but it's nice to have that privacy. I think out where I'm going though, I won't really need that. Um, but I can see for Burning Man, it would, it was very perfect. So anyway, this is it. This is the project and there's multiple other projects in my life right now, but this one is my home project. And 
you know, this is kind of what sold it for me because the picture that I had, I'll show you the original picture, but it was basically kind of taken like maybe from here-ish. And they had this little fake potted plant that the thing broke when we drove when I drove it home, but they had that there. And then the, it was just this little cute little white kitchen and I really, it just made me feel happy. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with this kind of more just white, white on white on white on white, with maybe some gold and maybe some pink. And I think I'm going to stop painting pink now and just try to get this lavender out and the peach out. And then kind of then I'll be able to tell, okay, where to add color because um, this is what makes me happy. All this mess, me no lucky. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's the project. So fun and so exciting.